Hey everyone, it's Mother Geek here with the Kumi Creator Cool Maker Machine. Um, since I posted the last video, quite a few people have been commenting saying they're having problems with their machine, it's not working how they'd like it to. So what I thought I would do is a quick kind of troubleshooting video to hopefully get you all straightened out, get you all loving this machine as much as we do. So I've already threaded on three spools. I'll just quickly show you the fourth one I'm going to put on. And what you have to do is thread from the front here up through the top like that. And then the spool itself, when you clip it on, you're listening for this noise. If you don't hear that pop, it's not in properly. So what you need to do then is go through the blue part and then put your thread into the white clip there which holds everything straight. Now you can see here I've left a lot of excess thread. I've done this on purpose just to show you what happens. When you lock it into place like that, all of that thread is going to get tangled in the machine and it's going to cause it to jam. So what you need to do is you need to wind back your spools like this until your thread is right down level with this white bit. So I'll just wind them all up so you can see what I mean. See how they've all come right back now. So the other thing that could be causing the problem I'll just clip that on now they're all straight. The other thing is if you leave your thread loose. So if, if they're kind of hanging down like this and they're not pulled really taut, then that too will cause problems. So if I just tighten them all back up again, And then if we go ahead now and spin this, you have to do it steady. If you're kind of stopping and starting, the machine will drag. So what I'm going to do is just make it jam now so I can show you what happens. So if I loosen these just so they catch a little bit, just to show you what happens. So if you're going too fast you'd miss this and you wouldn't see it but say see, see how that's got threaded around there this will now jam see how that's got in a right mess now and if you get in that state if you can do this and unwind it like that you can just tighten the bobbin up without undoing everything so if you just kind of hold it taut like that you have to make sure that the thread's going on tightly it needs to be really tight if you do it like that then you can just carry on if you find that just do it again if you find that you're getting a real bad mess that's got now and you can't undo it like I just did all you need to do is unwind the threads like this and all of them and that will release your bracelet and then if it's long enough you can just tie it off and carry on as you were but if it isn't long enough then what you can do is just pull all of your thread out like this and just start again just wind it back onto the bobbins so for example if I just pull this bobbin out here I can literally just wind it back up and start again it's that simple and those are the basic troubleshooting um, steps that we've followed Make sure everything's pulled tightly is the main thing that you need to be aware of. See how that's wound up again now? And then you literally just pop it in, thread it through the top again. And off 
there you go literally that simple so you just do that with all of your threads and you can start again if you're struggling with anything else if there's anything else in particular that you're having issues with do give me a shout and I will try and see if I can figure out where you're going wrong and hopefully help everybody get the most out of their Kumi Creators. Um, I know in this house it's a toy that we have used a heck of a lot. I've had a lot of people asking us where we get our refills from and honestly I just went to the local craft shop, took one of the threads with me and bought kind of embroidery thread. Do bear in mind though this has got like, you can see there, see how it's it's more like cord than thread, so it won't give you the exact same effect. It does work. This is the official thread that I'm using today, just to show you. Um, and as for clips, if you run out of clips, you can of course buy refills, um, which you know are available from toy retailers. What we've been doing is literally just tying knots at the end and then tying them onto people, like how friendship bracelets were kind of in the 90s when I used to wear them with my friends when I was uh, at school and things like that. Um, we used to give them, um, because you had to tie them on, you couldn't take them off and put them back on again, so it was kind of seen as, um, like, as long as you kept the bracelet on, that was your best friend kind of thing, so that's how we looked at it. So there's the third one done. See how quickly they're going back and through. So it's not like it's a major ordeal to re-thread them. If you do make a mistake, you can just... That's the other thing. You do need to make sure you're pulling the thread the right way. If you re-thread it, you do need to make sure you go the same way with all of them. So if some of them see how those two are winding that way and that one's winding the other way, that's going to cause it to jam now. So straight away, I know I've gone wrong there. So I'm going to pull that one out and we'll start it again. We'll go the other way because I just know that's going to cause a major issue. So when you do re-thread them, make sure they're all going the same way. You want them all to be going, um, going on the same way. So obviously you can just See how now it's all going from the same side. That's what you need to make sure of. So if some are kind of unraveling clockwise and some are unraveling anti-clockwise, you're gonna have problems. So I guess that's a major thing. I haven't actually seen that mentioned anywhere, so do make sure you're aware of that. So what we'll do, we've got three of the four on there. I'm just going to tighten them all up. And we'll just see how we get on with that now. We go ahead and make a bracelet now. So I've cheated a bit. I've not made sure that they're lined up in the center, but hopefully we'll get the idea and we'll get the gist of it. We'll just see what happens anyway. That is completely done now not the prettiest design because I did put all three of them together but you can see there it has worked and we've gone to the red line so that's as long as it can go now so yeah hopefully this video has been useful for you if you do need any more help by all means let me know exactly what you're struggling with and I will see what I can do but for now thanks for watching bye